Bonjour, mes amis. Comment allez-vous? Je m'appelle Chote. Today, guys, we are doing the Smithy's Indian takeaway order from Gavin and Stacey. If you didn't know, you're about to get to know. Hope you guys all enjoy the video. Let's get into some Indian food. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are an avid Gavin and Stacey fan, you will know this challenge did go a little bit wild on the internet quite recently. And today we're going to be taking it on. Now, Smithy is a legend and he ordered the following. Roll the clip. Yeah, what do you fancy? Chicken boner, lamb boner, prawn boner, mushroom rice, bag of chips, key and nine poppadoms. Sagaloo. I'd like a sagaloo as well, please, Mick. So you will see there that, that I have a chicken buna, lamb buna, prawn buna, sagaloo, a mushroom rice, a bag of chips. I actually have a carton of chips, um, a naan bread. It's a kima naan, which has a lamb inside. It's so, so good. And nine poppadoms. I've also ordered all the dips and stuff to go with the poppadoms because poppadoms plain. That it just doesn't sit right with me. So today's challenge isn't about going for time. It is all about getting through this absolute feast of an Indian takeaway and answering some questions. So hopefully you guys can get to know a little bit more about me and my bizarre life. Thank you so much if you did ask a question. If I haven't answered yours today, I really am sorry, but there are just so many to get through and I want to keep this quite concise. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Do remember to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below if you would like to share something with me. Thank you guys so much and I hope you all enjoy the video. Going to get started on the poppadoms and then just going to work my way through this. I'm hoping not to get too messy but if it is, it is what it is. I know that I'm going to enjoy it either way. So without further ado guys, the time is going on in three, two, one. Start. I feel like this might get very messy. Mm -hmm. Mm. I live for these dips, they're so good. Especially this chopped, chopped onion medley. Mmm. Okay. Lucy Campbell asked, when you do eating challenges, do you eat meals in the same day? Um, the answer generally is no. If I can do the food challenge earlier on in the day, I will get on with my evening sleep. And I really do just wait until my body says I'm hungry. So that could mean that I'll go another day without eating, but it's fine because I've sort of refed myself with so many calories that my body's just working with those calories until it needs more. And when it needs more calories to function, then it will be like, hey, <laughs> feed me. Okay, let's do another poppadom. I feel like Smithy made a good Indian takeaway order. I think that many people would be happy with it, but I think that he massively overdoes the Papa Doms. I mean, I would probably have two maximum, not nine. 
Mm. Okay, let's get into this Kimanan and the Sarg Alu. That is delicious. So Sargaloo is a spinach and potato curry. So veggie friendly. But a Kimanan is filled with meat, so it pretty much balances it out, doesn't it? Also, don't understand the purpose of chips from an Indian, but if you order chips from an Indian, comment below, let us know. Unpopular opinion, but I just don't see why. Mm. This is delicious, I'm not gonna lie. It's so good. Next question is from More More Food and she asked, any YouTuber you'd like to collab with? Yes, there's a few. I actually would love to collab with Randy Santel. I know that he is due to come to the UK some point this year. I'm hoping that actually happens. I know that you guys want to see myself and Joel Hansen do a challenge together. We are obviously different parts of the planet, so I can't see that happening unless I'm in Canada or he's here. Um, but yeah, that would be really cool too. And then obviously I would love to see Adam again, so weird meat food. So I guess um, if anybody else, it would be um, Adam for sure. It was so good. It's so soft too. I feel like these chips might become difficult, so I'm sorry to you an approving lot, but we're going to have to add some chips to every curry and see. How we go. If it wasn't for Adam, and I think maybe Eric the Electric, Eric, I don't think I would have started a channel, to be honest. They were just super supportive and um, very encouraging at the time that I was sort of, I was just really too shy to do it and just very unsure of um, the YouTube world. So let's get this finished and we'll go on to the next question. Okay, this was supposed to be prawn, but I have chicken. I think I may have picked up my mum's chicken balti, which is really annoying, because we're just gonna have to go with it. Have you ever risked choking? Aren't you scared about that? Um, I have done many challenges that is a choke hazard, and 100% do not try anything that I do at home. Bear in mind, I've been doing this for a long time. I've never choked, so I don't have a fear of it, and um, I, it's just not something that registers in my mind so have I ever risked it probably yes have I ever choked no and if I do I think that I will know how to sort of pull it back so that I don't get hurt um, but yeah definitely don't attempt the things that I do I kind of expected my order to go wrong at some point and here it is
So next question is from Malika Ruby Momo. Sorry if I mispronounce your name, but she asked, where's your same surname from? It's unusual. My surname, Shutkiva, is a Russian surname. Uh, I do have a very mixed background. I do look very bizarre, and I think that my last name just always sparks questions. Uh, let's get through this. We'll do some more papadoms and then the last bit. These chips are killing me. I don't know why you'd have chips with a curry. Smithy, why? Why would you order chips? And now I know the comment section is going to blow up with people like, I love chips with my curry. It might just be a really British thing. We have five papadoms left, one and a quarter curries, rice and chips. Get this finished off first. is a what I think is a chicken boona and a mushroom half a mushroom rice some chips and papadoms and a couple of dips next question is from Brenna Rosado thank you so much for your question are you going to try and beat a new world record if so any idea what food you'll be eating interestingly yes I'm really keen to do some more and get my six world records to ten um, I put up a video last week um, where I sort of ran down the six records that I have so if you are interested and you've not ever seen them before I'll just link them below I love the world record scene I think that it's just it's extremely challenging it pushes me to absolutely every extent and I really enjoy it a couple of vegetable challenges I'd like to do um, and there's a couple of really gross challenges too so I'm guessing they're going to be really entertaining to watch but not so not so much of a pleasure to do, so yeah. Let's get through half of this or a quarter. Let's get through a quarter and then we'll move on. Chicken boona, so much better than the chicken balti. And I think that this is a chicken tikka boona, which is just delicious. These are never ending. I feel like I'm eating them, but they're just not going down at all. Okay, this is going to get messy, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm just croutoning my curry. just eating chips with curry lovely so the next question is from I'm going to say that your name is pronounced Villegas how do you say so fit during these challenges thank you for saying that I look fit I don't feel it right now um, do you spread them out and work out a turn in between or do you do multiple per week love your channel thank you so much for watching really do appreciate that um, I do one challenge per week that is manageable for me I train throughout the week and I don't I've never trained to do challenges. I was actually massively into fitness before I ever got into food challenges. So I'm very used to a bodybuilding, healthy living lifestyle. I find that if I kind of taper my calories down into a challenge, do the challenge and then slowly taper back up 
and work with intermit intermittent fasting throughout the week just to sort of manage my own hunger levels. I find that that works pretty well for me. I My body weight does fluctuate like anybody else, but it's so minor and I get on top of it so quickly that no one ever really notices. So I guess that is a bit of strategy. Thank you so much for your question. I hope that answered it. Let's finish this off. I'm really not used to the time of being on anything past 30 minutes. Next question is from Manuel Gonzalez. Hey Manuel. Um, what happened with Molly and Nella's invitations to Girl vs Food? A lot of you have been asking me about Girl vs Food. I think Molly and Nella are amazing and when they came up with the idea I thought it was fantastic. But, oh, great start. But their schedules and my schedules just did not match up. We are in three completely like countries, the entire different side of the world. Like I am beyond flattered that they even invited me to that. So um, it's nothing to do with, with them. It's all to do with logistics really and how am I going to get it filmed and when. Molly and Nella know that I am their biggest fan. So that too. Back to the mango chutney. Next question is from Keegan Rowe. And Keegan asked, what made you get into eating a massive amount of food? What got me into doing food challenges was my older brother. He went to this local restaurant and did this food challenge like 10 times in a row and failed every single time. It was a burger challenge. And he came home and he was just like distraught about it. And just as a normal sister, I was just like, yeah, you, you're rubbish. <laughs> Like, I could eat more than you. And he was like, all right then, you come and show me then. And I decided to go to this restaurant and try it. And I tried this waffle stack, absolutely like massive waffle stack thing and smashed it and set a record. And the restaurant got really excited and word spread like wildfire. And bearing in mind, I was trying to balance having a career and, and doing this on the side too. So I was very, um, under the radar until about 2015 when I competed for the world championships and then I think the second year of competing at Battle of the Big Eaters with Bid Meets Food, the second year that we did that I decided when I got home to set up my channel and here we are. I kind of fell into it and it consumed me for lack of a better phrase. Falling with this, let's get the rest of these Papa Doms down. These are relentless. Smithy, why do you need nine? So excessive. So next question is from Chris1985 and he asked, where were you born and do you have an overseas background? I was born not too far from where I live now in Redditch. I'm very mixed as I mentioned before. My mum is from Guatemala, which is Central America, also considered South America, but it's not. They are Spanish speaking, but my mum's family are Swiss Italian, Latin American and Egyptian. Um, and my dad's family are English, Irish, and Russian. So yeah, hope that answers your question. And thank you, Chris. Oh, feeling kind of full, I'm not gonna lie. That's the food done, so that's the hard part over. Let's just focus on answering some questions and then we can wrap up this video. If you like these slower type of eating videos, comment below and let me know because I would be open to doing them, but obviously I am far more comfortable with a speed challenge. The next question is from, I'm going to say that it's Mimikins. Congratulations on your subscribers, thank you. I did a 50,000 subscriber special video 
and then I hit 160,000 subscribers pretty much right after that. So, so exciting and amazing. I was wondering, will you ever put out any merch? Funnily enough, yes. Just because it's been asked for so much and I used to be a designer, so I want to do something super cool, unisex everything, mainly focusing on comfies, hoodies, socks. At the moment, I'm just working on my designs. All of the updates on all the merch stuff will be on Instagram. So if you're not already following me on there, follow me on there, I will be keeping you completely in the loop on that. Next question is from AB and they asked, what is your workout regime um, that allows you to do these challenges and stay a healthy weight or do you have a fast metabolism? So I've been lifting weights for around 10 years. Before that, I both played rugby and I was really into being active. I would walk miles. I would do tons of cardio. I was a fit, I was just a, a skinny fit chick. Uh, really into yoga and pilates and all of that and then I got into bodybuilding and started putting on muscle because I wanted to have like a, a better fuller physique when you do something so consistently for such a prolonged period of time your body works at a much higher rate so in that sense yes I do have a metabolism but I was overweight when I kind of figured out about nutrition and diet and training um, I lost the weight but I'd actually lost loads of muscle mass too because I just dieted too hard um, and then I learned about bodybuilding and about eating for muscle mass and then it turned out that I had to actually eat more and then I had to sort of pull it back to maintain it. So to maintain my physique, I know how many calories on like, estimate, how many calories I need to eat in a day and how much I'd need to train in a week. So to be able to do food challenges, I needed to reduce my calories and up my training and then doing one challenge a week. <gasps> Excuse me. I am almost completely unaffected. I think I maybe have three or four days where I feel like this food hangover, that I feel a little bit lethargic, I feel a little bit chubby and I just find that if I drink a ton of water and I stay active, then I'm, I keep on top of it and I just keep, just keep moving. I just keep moving and that is what works for me but we are all different and I've had a much different background to everybody else so if you are just starting out on your your journey whether that be muscle gain or weight loss start with what you know with what you have where you are and just build up to what it is that you want to do small goals small progressive goals and just have you ever thought about coming to the US to do more challenges? Yes, I would love to come over to the US. I would love to travel the world and just make this massive girl versus food tour, but financially not in a place to do that. And also within my YouTube career, I'm not really at a place to do that. So help me build my channel. And when I get to a certain point where that will facilitate travel, then I will be doing that for you and make some cool content awesome videos. If you wouldn't be the UK's top competitive eater, what would you be doing? Before competitive eating, I was a commercial interior designer. So if I wasn't anything to do with competitive eating or YouTube, I will probably be doing some form of interior designer or back being a design manager, something along those lines. So that is what I would be doing. Thank you, James, for your questions. You are an absolute superstar. Right, last question and let's wrap things up. This one is from a certain John Goldman. Hi, John. Thank you so much for your five questions. We'll run through these quickly. Are you planning to take on Nathan's hot dog challenge anytime? Maybe sometime in the future, but probably not anytime soon. Are you planning to take on any more world records? Yes, did explain that before. Joey Chestnut just downed 32 McDonald's Big Macs. I explained to you guys, not even if I tried, would I be able to eat 32 Big Macs? Maybe around, maybe I can do like 20. Joey Chestnut is numero uno and I don't think that I could come close to him, to be honest. Um, is there any food that you refuse to eat? No, there is not because this is my job and I take it very seriously. And if I'm approached even with foods I'm not a fan of, I, I will just do it. I'll just suck it up because a job is a job and I take, I do take this really seriously. So yeah, sometimes you've got to do things that you don't like um, to get the results that you want. So absolutely do not refuse any type of food.
have you thought of creating your own food challenge not only for you but for other competitive eaters out there i have actually designed my own food challenge with holy moly macaroni i will also tag this video down below i designed this challenge with them and i went and i was the first person to break that record kyle then followed me um, and broke my record amazing kyle versus food go and check him out too very honored for holy moly macaroni to have me in and do that cool project with them um i think that's it so that is absolutely everything we have today for this challenge smithy great job on the selection of curries i ordered all of this from monsoon in withal i will leave all of the details below because that was delicious so if you are local highly recommended i would please really really ask of all of you if you are all able to please help local businesses that are doing delivery services or doing pickup services if they are independent they need us more than ever and secondly i would also like to say there's been a massive strain on food banks too so if you're in a position to do so please donate to your local food bank yeah i think it's just really important at the moment especially with everything that's going on but yeah anyway guys that is absolutely everything from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to give a like comment below if you have any comments Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I am done talking. I hope that you enjoyed this Q&A. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.